welcome to this updated video. I hope you have been enjoying your Monday thus far. Now we're going to be looking at what is going on across the North Atlantic. We can see that there is still some moisture around parts of the Caribbean, but there is some dust moving in. So you may notice that it is pretty hazy if you're in areas such as the Lesser Antilles, for example. And we also see some activity in and around Africa headed towards the West. And uh, we're going to be talking about it. So as we zoom into the Caribbean here, we can see that new cluster of thunderstorms within the vicinity of Cuba and the Bahamas. And recently, it's been quite wet in parts of the region. Yesterday, there was some heavy rain in parts of Jamaica. It was a similar thing on Saturday because, I mean, you know, there was some flooding taking place in some areas. However, that's not the case for the entirety of the island because some of the southern parishes have been pretty dry. Towards Central America, we don't see anything significant happening this morning, though. But let's go on to that rainfall forecast. So this is from Euro, and we can see that it gets pretty colorful within the, uh, the vicinity of the Bahamas, Turks and Caicos Islands as well. We're seeing those reddish shadings. So rainfall amounts probably up to an inch or just over an inch in some areas as i showed you there is some activity in the area also for parts of cuba the cayman islands jamaica hispaniola puerto rico the virgin islands and parts of the northern leeward islands such as anguilla saint martin saint bartholomew saint kitts and nevis Ceiba, saint eustatius antigua and barbuda some of these islands could experience some showers as we head through today and even some heavy downpours at times and thunderstorms and as i mentioned the cayman islands earlier there was an earthquake yesterday we'll talk about that in a moment but for the rest of the Lesser Antilles, Guadeloupe going south through Trinidad, Tobago, including Barbados, the ABC Islands, a lot of rain not expected. Of course, there could be a few showers around, but in terms of a lot of heavy rain, that is not anticipated as we head through today. Northern South America will be active as per usual. And then for Central America in some spots, such as Costa Rica, Panama, maybe Southern Belize as well, passing shower or so. But on a whole, nothing crazy is expected. Going on to the wind forecast, winds definitely kicking up in parts of the Bahamas, Turks and Caicos Islands this morning. Uh, maybe those winds up to around 20 knots with higher gusts. And uh, as we head through today, the winds may kick up somewhat in the vicinity of the Windward Islands, such as Trinidad, Tobago, Grenada, headed towards the ABC Islands. But elsewhere, it's not going to be very, very windy. Now, as I mentioned, there is that dust coming in, the Saharan dust. So this is the forecast for this week as we head into the middle of the week, going towards uh, Thursday. We can see that the dust is expected to reach the Western Caribbean, Jamaica, the Cayman Islands, Central america as well so that sahara dust is coming in but some of the denser dust is uh, going to be crossing through the lesser antilles today so you may notice that it is pretty hazy out there now as i mentioned there was an earthquake that happened near the cayman islands just offshore grand cayman yesterday in the morning so it took place at approximately 11 15 a.m. So the epicenter of that earthquake was to the southeast of uh, Grand Cayman. However, it may have been felt. You can let me know if you guys felt a jolt from this if you're in Grand Cayman. Even little Cayman, Cayman Brack. But uh, it is likely that it wasn't felt in uh, other nearby areas such as Jamaica, for example. But, you know, that wasn't a significant shaking, thankfully. And that area isn't usually very, very active, but from time to time there are earthquakes. And the previous major earthquake in the, uh, in the Caribbean was actually near that area. So that was on the 28th of January 2020 at approximately 2.10 p.m. local time in Jamaica. So I remember that very, very clearly. That was my first earthquake experience. But yes, guys, uh, that wasn't a major earthquake, a pretty minor one, but... Of course, I'll be keeping you posted, and that, uh, this is just something that we have to remember. The Caribbean is seismically active, and every now and again, we're going to be having these moderate shakings around here and there. So, that is pretty much what I wanted to share with you guys in this update video. Still going to be rainy and wet across parts of the North Caribbean. Wind's going to be kicking up across some areas as well, and there's that dust moving in. I hope you found this update to be very informative, but of course, if you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments. I will get to you once I have the chance to do so, and remember to always be weatherwise.